Pisces, welcome back, welcome home. It's awesome to have you here present with me. Now, shuffling the cards and tapping into your energy to see what spirit and the guides have for you as far as messages go. Now, before I dive into your reading, I do wanna let you know that my puppy just woke up from a long nap. And if you have a puppy, then you know exactly what that means. She is filled with energy. And not only is she filled with energy, but she has a happy birthday squeaky toy in her mouth and she is squeaking it. <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, just uh, maybe ignore that or allow yourself to receive the blessing of that because it is just the cutest thing, in my opinion. But I could be partial to her because she's just so cute. Anyways, Pisces, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? What's been going on? Probably a lot because there's been a lot for all of us. So Pluto and Saturn, as you know, are finally direct at the time of me filming this video. So that should be good. Um, should be good. But you know, sometimes Pisces, you have a difficult time with those grounding, rooting, transformative energies because, um, you know, you, you have a tendency to kind of want to float away. And when life gets a little too real, it pops your bubble. You know, but don't give up hope. Don't give up faith and hold on. Knight of Cups. Okay. Spirit wants you to be inspired right now. I just heard, I just heard, speak your truth, hear the truth, hear the truth, speak the truth, feel the truth. What is the, what is the truth? Ooh, I just heard the truth will be revealed to you. And then also the magician card jumped out at the same time. This feels like, it's kind of giving me Aquarius vibes because what I just heard is double the pleasure, double your fun. Um, and Aquarius energy also had the same kind of similar space of joy and pleasure in their life. Um, I feel like Pisces, you've kind of been working. Yeah, I feel like you've been working a lot. It almost feels like you're working at events working like people are requesting your presence to speak to showcase share your wisdom share a truth you've had your head down this could be social media yep hierophant ooh, justice card and four of cups it's been it's been very much you kind of emotionally locked into your goal what you wanted to work on what you've been focused on and that's all well and good, but now Spirit is saying, you know, lift your head up and allow yourself to feel the fruit of that labor. You've been laboring a lot. Emphasis on the word labor. You've been laboring a lot. I know that maybe for some of you guys, you're not all of where you want to be. For some of you guys, you're not all where you want to be. You, you haven't made it there yet. And some of you guys, like maybe you did, maybe you even surpassed it. But there's a part of you right now that Spirit is calling in order to... Um, lift your head up and go for a walk. Lift your head up and go for a swim. Lift your head up and don't turn it into work or manif manifesting or materialize. And as I'm saying this, you guys, 10 of wands. 10 of wands is at the very base of your reading, the root of your reading, which says, yeah, we know that you've been working on this. We totally respect and admire your dedication, but take a break take a break for those of you guys that have been completely lost in the sauce it's time for you to king of cups it's time for you to pull away from that as well and go for a walk in order to clear your head reset your energy restore your energy whatever it was that you were working so hard on whether it's something that society would say is constructive or not it's time for you to kind of take a break from it go on a retreat go take a stay like a stay staycation um or even an actual vacation and, and get away for a little bit, just enough for you to take a deep breath and kind of clear your head, reset your energy, restore, recharge your batteries. Some of you guys are like, but Jess, I'm not exhausted yet. I'm not tired. And it's just like, listen, crazy eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're giving me like this. Um, and it's just like, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, like you might be at 35% battery, but it, let's get you back to 56% battery, okay? There's nothing wrong with moving your 35 to your 56, okay? Two of swords is, there's a part of you right now that energetically is like, I, just, I can't, I can't. And you're, again, you're giving me crazy eyes energy, okay? 
We're working in this together, Pisces. I'm with you. I'm with you. I want you to be successful. If you're successful, I'm successful. We're all successful. Come on now. I wouldn't steer you wrong, Pisces. Trust me. Look, if you need to hear it, if you need to see it, Ten of Cups is at the base of your reading, man. Trust. Trust. Have I ever led you astray? Damn. I love you guys. Um, it's so interesting that I had the higher wisdom candle here because I actually see that for you. If you sat with yourself long enough, I feel like you would actually sense how much you might actually not need it because you'll be fine without it. But again, 10 of wands, it's too much. Um, but you'd be surprised how much you would be filled up. There was this one thing that I was watching on Netflix not too long ago. It was kind of trending, but of course what's trending kind of passes and maybe this is a sign for you guys, a message for you guys, because you feel like you might be become irrelevant. Don't worry about that. Um, if you're moving with integrity, if you're moving with um, truth, and you're sharing your gifts and your light, you're never going to be, you know, don't worry about that. I don't know why this series is coming out for you. Um, it's about this guy who was working with this girl I don't know why this is coming through for you guys. Maybe this is a specific message for someone. It's about this guy that was working with this girl to take advantage of people who are traveling by poisoning them. They would get like really, really sick and then they would end up working in some like hostile environment. I forget what the name of it is, but for those of you guys that know what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comments. It was trending at one point. Um, it's no longer back earlier in the COVID times, but I don't know why that's coming through. Maybe that's a specific message for someone. There's also something else intuitively that I was led to say, and I just totally forgot it when I had that vision because it just threw me off guard and I was trying to remember the name of it. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You guys have great angst when it comes to putting it down. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Some of you guys feel like when you put this thing down, um, you feel like Spirit is trying to remind you that you're it's not going to be like you put it down and then like you're going to lose your inspiration. You're going to lose your mojo. You're going to lose your progress. You could be 89% of the journey and then walk away just for a second. Just take a break. It's not you quitting. It's not you walking away from it. It could also be a child. It could be a project. It could be your degree um, or a relationship or whatever. You're not walking away from it forever. You're just taking a break, a moment. And that moment actually it floods you, dude. Pisces, man, you rule the floods. It floods you with opportunity, with potential, with inspiration, all those, those things. Literally, it's like this wave that will lift you up and push, push you to the where you where it is that you want to actually go. But the only way you can do that is if you let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, Pisces. I should allow myself to do hour long readings for each of the zodiac signs, but I would be so drained. But there's so much that I can say. It's hard to keep these readings down to a minimum. Ooh. Oh, one more. Nova, come here. Yep. Hi. Hi. Do you want to say hi to Pisces? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Cross Watchers? She's like, no. She wants to be a mystery right now, and I respect that. Pisces. I respect that. Pisces, whatever she wants to do is what I want to do, because that's my girl. You're my girl. Oh, here she is. Knocking over things. Oh, she won't take a nap. I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me and my... Okay, so Al, first card we have for you is love. This is like, if you love something, set it free. If it's meant to be, it will be. Then, of course, we have meandering pathway. It's not a straight line. It's not straightforward. It flows. It flows. Be generous and, you know, with that chaos here. These cards actually feel like such a blessing, but you're not going to be able to see it and feel it if you don't allow yourself to see it and feel it. You kind of give me Capricorn vibes, Pisces. And you are the queen or the king of the flow. So flow, let it go. That's what love feels like. It's very vibrant. 
and very free flowing when it's free flowing, you know? So allow that to just be, okay? Things are gonna get chaotic and weird if you don't allow that to happen. And look, at the base of this reading is stability, earth spirit. So part of you guys might be a little uncomfortable with that, but it's okay, it's okay. Just because it's uncomfortable doesn't mean that it's not also a blessing. All right, my loves, Pisces, if you need me, if you're looking for me, you can find me working in the apothecary and the apothecary is bahadilife.com, bahadilife.com slash shop. There you will find me working on fixed candles, intention oils. Um, if you see me not getting knocked around, it's because I am. Nova is under here, just kind of pushing around. So she's gonna have to go for a walk soon. I'm gonna go take her to see some dolphins. You wanna see some dolphins? In honor of my Pisces people. Yes. Um, or also ritual soaks, herbs, herb bundles, herb packets for you working your own magic manifestations. And the card, the candle that it is that I'm seeing for you is definitely the higher wisdom purple candle and then fixed candle. And then um, third eye intention oil. I just really see that for you while you're going for a walk because you're going to be inspired. And the goddess vibes oil. That's just me. And also the love spell. Oh, and lunar goddess. And then that's it. All right, you guys. I'm sending you all my love. Thank you so much for tuning in. And make sure that you are subscribed because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. The Hottie Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.